What's going on guys? Welcome to the results video, my first trade day for NHL 19. Uh, we're going to jump right into it here, see all the offers we got. Last time I checked, uh, I was over 300, I forget the exact number, but thank you everyone who sent in an offer. As you can see there, 331 trade offers on 20 cards. I'm going to do my best to look at every single one of them. Uh, I did like already check a couple cards to see if there were like contracts or anything sent in, but for the most part it looked like it was all players, so I'm um, expecting a lot of funny probably and just good offers. So I'll start off here with the lowest rated card, the teammate Carter Hutton. Again, even though he's an 80 because of the CS that's out right now, he's actually quite a good card to have. Uh, so first here we have a few collectibles and a goalie mask, Nathan McKinnon, uh, which honestly isn't a bad offer, just one for one. Some crazy hair on uh, Vaughn there. Uh, Schmidt a collectible. Holpe and that Diamond Schmaltz, no idea what Diamond Schmaltz goes for, not that high rated, but I think he's like the only Diamond card out so far. Another one, <laughs> I don't know why, that's kind of crazy. Random Silver card, I think his name's Dragon, that's kind of cool. Uh, Jeff Carter, Kampf, uh, Schl Schlitting, another kind of strange name. Ooh, wow, whoa, that's a big offer. Tarasenko, Legend Adam Oates, uh, Teamweek Carlson, Teamweek Ekman Larson. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to beat that. Um, then you have a Team Week Army install. And we have a couple more offers here, guys. First one is an alumni, Andrew Chuck. Uh, second one here, we just have Glass, Nylander, and Radish. I'm not sure if that's supposed to say anything. Also, just this one popped up as I was looking. Uh, Team Week Sondel. So, obviously, uh, the best trade by far is this one. I didn't even like, realize at first how good it was. Like I kind of looked at it. Oh, Tarasenko, Legend Oats. Two couple Team Weeks, it's whatever. I was like, oh wait, <laughs> the Legend Oats. But... Honestly, I think it's like too good, honestly, to accept. I, I would just feel bad taking that offer, although I do really appreciate it from whoever sent it in. It honestly means a lot just knowing that you'd want me to have those cards, but um, I think the most fair one, not including that absolutely ridiculous offer, is probably the Nathan McKinnon. I was thinking about maybe taking Schmaltz. Is that, did we just get another Schmaltz offer? I think we might have, because, yeah, we just got another Schmaltz offer. I don't know why they're trying to give us Diamond Schmaltz, but... Um, he's only 81 overall. I don't think he's actually worth that much. So I'm just going to take the 85 McKinnon. McKinnon's a good player. Um, I feel like that there is a fair trade. So obviously the second best offer, but I might have honestly even gotten in trouble if I took the other one, even though it's, it's not a giveaway. It's a trade day and someone really wanted that Teamy Cotton. Again, thank you whoever sent that in and everyone else on that first card. Uh, next here, just some random silver card. Uh, Fiddler, number 16. Thrower. Um, Huberdeau, Athanasiu, Muzzin, Schmidt, Wayne Simmons, Kini Parise, that's not too bad, and a Fiddler. Um, I feel like this might smell something just because it's a bunch of random cards. Jankovic, Gaylord, Deacon Poot, Saucerman. Deacon Poot, Saucerman. I feel like there's something there. If you guys know, let, let me know in the comments. Um, Hellman, Dubnik, Random Silver Team of the Week, and Marlowe. And then number 57 there, and a couple Petersons. So. I think the best offer for sure would have been the Team Week Parise, or actually, sorry, it's Milestone Parise, my bad. Pretty fair one for one there. I know I have to see you, obviously. Uh, it goes for a decent much because he's so fast. The Milestone Parise, though, I'm sure is probably about equal value. Um, next up here with the Alumni, Iafrady. So, seven offers here. Akalast, Brown, Kopitar, with something on him, but I guess... I know when you listen on the auction house, it goes away. I'm not sure if when you trade the card, it stays or not. Um, Petty, Getzlav Barzell, and a Panthers Arena. McKinnon. Ooh, Team League Zadina. I'm a big fan of that. Schneider, Vitrano. So I think it's going to be either this offer or the Kopitar. And I might honestly say yes to the Kopitar just because I'm curious if you trade cards if the customization stays. And I kind of want to know. Also, I do already have a Team League Zadina. I don't know, though. The Team Week's Adina, I feel like that's more personalized offer. I'm going to take this one. Hopefully there's another trade offer where somebody has uh, some customizations on their card. I feel like maybe it stays. I know for sure if it goes on the auction house, it's gone. But maybe it trades a way to keep like you know the numbers and stuff on there. Uh, Hextall here, Halloween Hextall. We have Jerry as the first offer, Hunt second. Uh, Larionov, Thanksgiving Hemsky and Klingberg, not bad. Rockets, Nystrom. Uh, okay, a couple alumni there, Tierney and Hammond. Uh, Team Koivu with three collectibles, which at this point, they're literally zero, unfortunately. Um, Dan, 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 Thomas, or is it Kanat Katanachi, 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 Raffle? What is... <sighs> three Dans? Three Dans and a Thomas? I'm not sure. There's something here. Uh, Subban... How do you say that guy's name? Carb Guy, Fortunus, and Malden. 
Schmaltz, ooh, Milestone Kovachuk, Subban, Carlson, and Alumni Nealon, who I never even heard of. That seems pretty decent. Alumni Hextall, a uh, Halloween Marchand, 85 overall, that's pretty good. And two bronze collectibles. Alumni Busick, uh, Geoffrin, and a Panarin. So I think the last two offers, or the last three offers, were definitely um, the best ones. Just gonna double check. That one wasn't too bad. Larry Onov also is pretty decent. But yeah, the last three are the best. Um, I think of the last three, the last two were the best. So it's like these, it's this one or this one. You know what? I assume he wants to upgrade the Hextall. And he's giving me a Halloween Marchand. Let's do that. Uh, you can upgrade your Hextall. The last two were like really similar to me. And uh, basically the difference maker was the fact he was already signing in on Hextall. So maybe, maybe he wanted the Halloween one. Uh, so next we have the base Johnny Drew. Of course, we also have that prime time at the end. Uh, Thor's in there. Kind of looks like a Viking. Uh, Spencer, Eichel, Petrangelo, Line A, and Larry Onovan a collectible. Well, I'm a Detroit fan, so we'll go Larry Onovan a collectible there. I already have a bunch of base cards, so that seems pretty fair. 84 for 84. And next up here, we actually have a base Marchand, so I already have the Halloween one to fill in for him. Four offers here, four healing cards. Rene, Rasmus Rene, I wonder if he's related to Pekka. Um, Eklund there, Silver Team of the Week, and Jack Eichel. Alright, so like I said, not a lot of people want Brad Marchand. I think this is the lowest uh, amount of trade offers yet. Um, I think maybe just go with the silver team of the week. Is he a oh, he's a left winger? Um, four healing cards, Jack. Let's just go with the silver team week. It's like a different card he sent in. I'm good with that. And next up, you guys have another Bruins player, David Pashnak. Not sure how many trade offers are on him. We only have three, so the Bruins cards, not you know high demand for them. Uh, Nielsen, Stransky, and Nylander, which is actually. Kind of fitting, he just signed. 10 game contract, 06 and Weitzman. So we'll go with this one. I think it has something to do with like the contract he just signed. He gets paid 10 million the first year. So it's trendy. I think that's actually the best offer either way. So um, we will definitely take that one. And finally on the second page here, we have Marcus Naslin, alumni card. Let's see what we got for him. Larry Onov, another one. Uh, Balin and Zach Renski. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Renski, but I always like it when people send in Red Wings cards, so I'll take another lay on of there. Can never have too many uh, Detroit Red Wing alumni. I think that's my motto. Uh, so next here we have the base Pecorine. Very, very good goalie. Four offers. Another Viking. I wonder if maybe he got like rejected and just sent him in on the Rene. Um, Ailes, Hopi, and ooh, Team of the Week Line and the Thanksgiving Gets Lab. I mean, Rene is a good goalie. I don't think he's worth more than like 10k. That seems to be a very fair offer. We're, we're definitely getting a slightly better deal there, but I don't think it's like too egregious. Like the, the legend Adam Oates was, that was just ridiculous. All right, so next here, alumni, Salmine. Let's see um, what we have for him. Two silver collectibles, Bobrovsky Flurry. That's I, that's a pretty good offer, I think. Silver collectibles are like 5k. Salmine's like 20, so it's, I don't know. That's probably about 20. Uh, Bankston there. Panarin, Jones, Rantanen, and Probert. That's a pretty good offer as well. Not too sure on the uh, value for Panarin and Rantanen. I think Jones is probably quick sell, maybe just above. Kind of now it's like an 80. You have to have an 84 plus. Rantanen, because he's having such a good year, maybe has a bit more value. And then a random bronze card there. So yeah, I think the first offer was the best. Uh, you get a couple nice goalies, a couple silver collectibles. We will go with that. And speaking of goalies, next up we have the alumni, Johnny Bauer. Um, so we'll see we got sent in on him. A Great Britain jersey. Uh, Zadina, we'll see. Maybe that gets it done. Malden, uh, Hextall in a Canadian jersey. The Canadian jersey's nice. And Bergeron, 65, Rocket Russia. Is there something here or is this just random? I, I don't know sometimes. And sometimes, like, people know, but, like, I don't know, you gotta really think. And I'm seeing so many trade offers. It's like my brain just can't think. Um, that's not a bad offer. Zadina, I like. I actually have, like... What is that? I think I have four Zadinas now. I already have two Silvers and I have two Team of the Weeks now. Um, the Hextall in a Canadian jersey. That seems pretty good. You're upgrading your Hextall and I am Canadian, so I'm going to take this one. I like the Canada jersey too. We already have the whites, so why not add the red? Next up here we have another alumni card. This one is the Johnny Busick. Uh, so let's see here. Nielsen and Thorson. I, this guy with the Thorson keeps trying to send him in. I, maybe we'll take it. We'll see what else is offered. Think, or Halloween, uh, Lucic, Timishov, and a few Thanksgiving collectibles and a Jason number 42. The Thanksgiving collectibles I don't think are good for anything now. So honestly, 
The dude with the Viking, the Thorsten. <laughs> you can have your Johnny Busick. I just want to see him keep popping up. I guess that just shows, you know, persistency is key. Uh, so next here, base PK Subban, cover boy, 12 offers. We actually might have more. Wayne Simmons, Paris, Sutter, and that, I don't know how to say his last name, uh, Kapar Kaparge guy, um, Bianchi, Seabrook, Kimi Koivu, uh, Besser, Revenge Jersey. That seems pretty good. Um, Alumni Hall, a couple silvers. Simmons, bronze collectible, Chalowski. I like the Chalowski ad. Shifley and Sagan, a couple uh, rock, paper, scissors, friends. I kind of like that one. Just a Sagan. Hellebeck, Skinner and Mestikov, Doughty. That's pretty good one for one. I actually have uh, an untradable Doughty though. Um, <laughs> that guy's crazy hair. So a few more offers here. First one's an Alumni Bauer, and there's actually some customization on him. Not sure what it is. It could be a sick helmet, could just be a jersey number change. I said I wanted to accept one trade with that to see if it stays on the guy or not. Um, Panarin and Kachuk's not bad. Um, Spitfire's logo, gold collectible, and then Shore, Ryder, Eagles, Johansson. I'm not sure if that says something, but... Alright, so that was a good offer. That was not a bad offer. I like the Sagan Shifley as well. Um, Doughty, like I said, we already have. I'm gonna go... With Shifley and Sagan. I'm gonna go with the Rock, Paper, Scissor, Buddy. I think there's probably more value in the Gold Collectible trade, but I just like that combo there. He was definitely thinking. Uh, so next year we have the Alumni, Doug Gilmore. We'll see what we get on this one. So first off is a Great Britain jersey. Second there, uh, Milestone Kovalchuk, Stuart Pekka, uh, Gatorade Trochak. I don't see that too often. Barkov and Rantanen. Honestly, I have no idea how to say this guy's name. Is it One Rud, Honorud? I have no idea. And then Klingberg there. Zekas, Fritch, and a coach. Um, probably Kovalchuk, I think, is the best offer. He's not the highest rated, but, like, it's Kovalchuk. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the Kovalchuk offer. I think they're all relatively fair, so... Kovalchuk's in the game now for the first time in five years. Why not go with that? Uh, so we're now down to the final six. Some good players here. First off, we have the base Kucherov. Uh, so we have that Team Week Sondel. Must have been a guy, like, re-offering him. Uh, ooh, Christmas, Everly, Matthews, and Foco. Uh, Kimi Patch Ready, three Rupert Coaches. Uh, random Silver Card, another one. Ooh, Alumni Curry, Milestone Pavelski. Uh, Kuznetsov, Olchek, Bacchus, Yamato. People say I look like Yamato. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know if I see it. it maybe kind of. Like, we're both young looking. Um, Howard Chuck and Bronze Collectible. Mavalich and Petrangelo. Vorchek, McAvoy, Ben Ekman Larson, Geoffrey, and a bronze collectible. So, some pretty good offers here, and I think we still have more to see. Like I was saying, guys, two more offers. Uh, first one here is Shifley, Halak, Blackhawks jersey, and Kuka. Second one there is another Mavalich. And last one here, we have Line, another Larianov, and James Neal. Um, this would be like what our third Larianov we take. Um, the Christmas Everly, I think, is pretty cool with Matthews. Team League Patch Ray is not bad. The Curry, Curry is so good in this game with the Team League Pavelski. That seems like it's got to be the best offer. That one there is pretty good as well. Christmas Everly, like, I like the fact he's a Christmas card, but he's only 84. I feel like it's got to be this card. The Alumni Curry with the Team League Pavelski just seems, like, much better than everything else. So we're going to take that one. Um, I'm hoping on, like, choosing all the right offers here. I'm definitely going to find out after in the comment section when someone says, Oh, you should have taken this, should have taken that. So five more guys left here. Team League Sean Couturier. He's, not, he's pretty high rated, but I don't think he's got too much demand yet. Only... Five offers. So Zadarov, uh, Georgiev, two contracts, two healings, and Alumni Bauer with the Reading Stadium jersey. I haven't seen that jersey too much. That actually might be worth quite a bit. And Couturier, number 19. I'm taking the Bauer there with the Reading jersey. Not only because it's Reading jersey, but also because I think that's a very rare jersey. I could be wrong. I don't think so, though. Uh, so next up here, Thanksgiving Barzell. Good friend, you know, played NHL with him. Not a big deal. Uh, so Alumni Howardchuk, Tarasenko, and Teravinen. Uh, the Thanksgiving Johansson there with a Probert and Bronze Collectible, Fiddler, Joffrin, Kucherov, Getzlav, Zaka, Abelin, Sabres Arena, Patrick, and the Kovalo logo. Again, if this is some if this is saying something, this is way out there. Um, Hextel, Johansson, Giroux, Collectible. So again, that's basically just a Bronze Collectible. Thanksgiving Collectibles have zero value right now. I'm sure there'll be a set eventually, but don't want to risk it. Uh, Drew there and Sagan, a couple bronze collectibles, Hellebeck with something on him and a jersey number 33, and then Timmy Calcarna, that's kind of sick, silver collectible, bronze collectible, and jersey number 67, and we still have some more offers to see. And we actually have 10 more offers here, guys, so first one is a Barzell, two bronze players, and an Islanders jersey, 
So basically looking to upgrade that Barzell. Um, old check there in Carlson. Another Barzell with a Mavalich and two Silver Collectibles. So that's an even better upgrade offer. Uh, Team Patch already there. Bergeron, Newman in a Bronze Collectible. That's pretty good. Um, Dick Duff and Carey Price. That might be the best name I've ever seen in this game. Dick Duff. That's what a hockey name. Uh, Team Week Forsberg, that's pretty good, with a Ghost and a Bronze Collectible. Uh, Johansson there and Chara, I think we already had a Johansson offer, the first one. Uh, Vander Kane, straight up. Murray, Wolves, some like horse jersey logo thing, and Ernie. And then Thanksgiving Doom Nick and a Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane's only 84 overall, but it is Patrick Kane. I feel like he's got to have a decent amount of value. I don't know, I could be wrong on that one. Also, Doom Nick, it's a pretty good goalie in this game, so that's not a bad offer. Um... Some good offers here. It's definitely between like this first one, uh, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one. Dick Duff. That's just what a name. I wish I could like look at synergies too. It does make it. Oh, wait, I can toggle synergies. Oh no, I can only toggle synergies for my card. Never mind. <laughs> Cannot see the synergies that are getting offered. Uh, Forsberg I feel is pretty good too. I mean, same rating there. Plus he's giving us a ghost and a collectible. And then the Doomnik and Kane. That seems like it could be pretty good. This is gonna be a tough one. Um, I feel like Patrick Kane, you can't go wrong. Dick Duff, I want to see his uh, synergies, but I just noticed he only has 83 skating, so even though he's got an amazing name, I probably never use him. Like, he seems super slow. Uh, Forsberg was good too. I think though, I don't know, I feel like Kane. Pa Patrick Kane, and then the Thanksgiving Doom Nick. I'm always looking for a new goalie to try out. I'm going to take this one. Um, a lot of good offers there, though. Like I said, there was like five at the end. That was kind of just having a tough time to sign between. So I went to accept that offer, guys. The game actually froze, so I had a dashboard. Um, as you can see there, we still have 200 trade offers on the last four cards, which actually include Barzell. I thought this went through, then I was worried like I would have lost him and not got anything, but um, everything is still there. Uh, sometimes, I don't know. So that trade there going through, uh, so I guess minus 10. We still have almost 200 trade offers, so just these last three guys alone. I'm guessing probably 100 of them are on the Patrick King, which is usually the case, the best card. That's what everyone wants. So, Branton here though, very good card. Like I said, I used him a few times. Didn't really want to use him in the trade day, but I figured, what the heck. Uh, so, Team League Patch right there in Simmons. That Sondal guy again. Line A, Panarin, couple contracts. Panarin, Ranton, and Dry's title Oshi. American's jersey, Broadhurst. Ranton, I don't know how to say that guy's name in points. Thornton there, Milestone, not bad with Yossi. Team League Morgan Riley, and then Erickson. Um, O'Brien, Fall, Conca, Lau. I don't know if it, if it says something, you guys gotta let me know. And then John Tavares there with the Christmas Luongo. The Christmas Luongo has BU, so he could actually be worth a decent amount. Maybe he's a really good goalie, and I think we still have a bunch of offers to see. All right, guys, so of the first batch, I felt like the Tavares and Luongo was the best offer. Um, still have 12 offers here and tons to show you guys. So, Holland Pasternak. Um, oh, geez, Primetime Marner. Christmas Trocheck, a couple guys there. I mean, he does have a team week now, but I feel Primetime Marner, it's Mitch Marner, he's still gonna be worth quite a bit. Um, Geoffrey and Pashnak and Ruck. Bergeron and Silver Collectible. Mavalich there and a Peterson coach. Team Week Dumbo there with Panarin, Bufflin, and Bergeron's pretty solid. Shifley and Sergeyev. I wonder if the Jets logo is supposed to like represent the Spitfires for Sergeyev. I'm not sure. Uh, healing card. Lucic, Coil, a couple collectibles. Wheeler, Line A, Forsberg. Mooseheads. Adula, Gorgindair. Van Loon and Kovala. Some weird names there to pronounce, and I think we still have even more offers. So last bit of offers here, guys. We have Kuznetsov, Larkin, and Cronwell. Definitely like the Red Wing touch. Uh, Marshan, Shifley, Linden, and Gold Collectible. It's pretty good. Uh, Stamkos, Petrangelo, and a Bronze Collectible. I like that as well. Uh, Sagan, Price, Winterhawks, Jersey, Healing Card. Gatorade, Truba, with Carey, Price, and Bronze Collectible also isn't bad. And then Zetterberg there, Bronze Collectible, and a Thanksgiving Collectible. So basically, Zetterberg and a Bronze Collectible. Um... The Tavares and Luongo still might be my favorite. I want to double check though. Hall and Pasternak. I actually have really wanted to try out Taylor Hall. Um, so that's already a good competitor with the first one. But I'm always looking for a new goalie with BU to try out. And I know that Chris Luongo has that. Even though of course it's not going to show up there. Uh, the Marner as well. Could be worth a decent amount. 84 overall. So I think I'm going to go with this original offer here guys. Tavares and Luongo. I still haven't found like a goalie I can really trust in Hut. So... Uh, maybe Luongo can be it. I think they were all pretty fair in value if I'm taking a guess. Uh, so only the two big boys left here. Actually, neither of them are actually that big, but uh, Kane and Goudreau. So primetime Goudreau will look at first. See all the offers on him. Again, that team week Sondal guy. Okay, we got primetime McDonough, Hextall, Ben, and Sagan. Three gold collectibles, March so. 
that's not quite 200k that's kind of like the value that i know of for goudreau maybe 180 uh mavalich there ranton and burns a few fiddlers and mckay uh carlson ovechkin and kessel that's pretty sick i have no idea what base ovechkin goes for or carlson i feel like they still have to be decent amount of value random silver card Ooh, legend bob probert alumni lariano that's not too bad uh legend andrew chuck there couple silver team of weeks Haddad, um, Thanksgiving Besser there with Kane, uh, Senators goalie Rupert, LaFontaine, Probert, two gold collectibles, so it's a pretty good offer so far. The last offer we looked at, I'm pretty sure this is Thanksgiving Besser. Next here we have another one with a base Goudreau. Um, Ovechkin, Malkin, Stamkos, Tarasenko, which is just some of the best base cards in the game. Um, alumni Cornoy, LaFontaine, the primetime Kessel. Alumni Gilmore, Thanksgiving Kessel with the primetime brain points, pretty sick. Uh, I got Skinner there, Mavalich, Howard Chuck, Robotai, Backstrom, Suter, Vlader, Elo, Leno. Maybe the first names, Pius, Dan, Rouslev. See, I don't know. Sometimes it's like, are these random players? Is it something going on here? I, I don't know. If there's something, I'm missing it. Um, Howard Chuck, Shut, Gilmore. Ooh, I like that one. Gold collectible. Uh, and still a lot more offers, I think. And next year, guys, we have a T League Panarin, Thanksgiving Getzlav, and Taylor Hall. So it's pretty solid. Uh, McKinnon, Ruchin, another Diamond Schmaltz there with Kuznetsov. Another Thanksgiving Besser. Uh, team make Dry Saddle on Charlie Conker. I definitely like the Dry Saddle there. Curry Hall, Yandel Linden. Pretty good group of players. Uh, team make Crystal Tang, McKinnon, Primetime Stone, and Giroux. Uh, Milestone Bufflin and a Primetime Kuznetsov. That's not too bad. Marner, Pacioretty, Kane, number 71. All right, guys, so I'm still holding on to five offers. I'm not really sure what's the best one of these. Plus, obviously, still have more to look at. Uh, so next here we have Sidney Crosby. I'm not sure what base Crosby's even going for now. I assume he's still at least 100k. Uh, Cornoyer, Sagan, Red Wings jersey. Um, Thanksgiving best here with the Barkov Global Series. That's actually a sick card. That's, I think it's pretty rare. And a Thanksgiving Ranton, who like I said, I kind of didn't really want to trade. Um, Mavlich, Wheeler, and Larionov. Uh, Curry there with Carlson. Number 99. Probably goes for quite a bit, the jersey number 99, honestly. And a gold collectible. Uh, prime time Goudreau. So we're just picking up this hallway guy. I actually have in my collection just because his beard's insane. So kind of fitting with Movember, which ended like a couple days ago. Uh, Howard Chuck, LaFontaine, couple gold collectibles. Bauer and Curry. So there's some good offers here. It's definitely going to be tough to choose. And we haven't even looked at them all yet. So some more offers here, guys. We have Taylor Hall, Busick, Kachuk, Bronze Collectible. Uh, Halloween Chara there with Busick, Kessler, and Rudy. Uh, Park, Rasmussen, Vanek, Chalowski. So a few Red Wings. I like that. Uh, Team Ben Bishop, Tavares. Thanksgiving yet slab and a collectible. Uh, Nylander there, a couple healing cards in Maple Leafs, so they're healing the relationship, I guess. Uh, Mavalich, Park, Geoffrey, and Line. And then Curry, Price, Burns, and Bobrovsky. And next year, guys, we have a team with Johansson with Marchand, uh, Gilmore, Salming, Diamond Schmaltz, and Kopitar. Evo, Clayton, Kelly, that's not too bad. I don't think he's worth primetime Goudreau, though. I think he's worth like 50, maybe 75k, where Goudreau's like close to 200. Um, team week Lindholm there, base Goudreau, Truba, and an Evolution Collectible, which, I mean, right now actually has no value. I'm assuming they will have sets in the future, though. Um, Kachuk there, the Halloween one, with Panarin, Goudreau, and the Asset jersey. Uh, Shifley, Howard Chuck, Tarasenko, Conacher again, with a Ghost and Gold Collectible. So as I'm looking at trades, guys, another one just came in. Uh, Kucherov, Howard Chuck, and a Primetime Skinner. Uh, these are the three that I'm holding on to. They're kind of like the three Rangers I'm not really sure between. Uh, then we have this Thanksgiving Peterson and Hellebeck. Um, let's see, three silver guys in a jersey. Brocklehurst, Olus Matson, the Stony, Austria. I don't think this says anything. If it says something, I have no idea. Just four gold cards there. Um, primetime Line, Milestone Thornton, Primetime Huberdeau, and a collectible is not bad. Hedman, Salming, Goudreau, uh, Park, Gilmore, Eichel, Kucherov, Conacher, Giroux, and Abusic and a gold collectible. So. I think still these three here are probably the best ones. And next up here, guys, we have the Halloween Kachuk and Zadarov with Parent and Salmine. Parent's got a great stash on him. Uh, Passionac, Sagan, Duclair, and Peterson. Fairbrother, Tessink, Carlson, Horvat. Uh, Wheeler, Bergeron, Italy, Jersey, and Jones. Giroux, Kucherov, Goudreau, and Line. All good players, but I think that's definitely more of like a quantity over quality trade. Uh, Team Jones there with Evo Hudon, couple gold collectibles. I don't see Houdon personally getting too many upgrades though. Uh, Price there with a Christmas collectible and a gold collectible. And then Billy Smith, Brad Park, Team Week Dry Style, and Goudreau. So there's still some very good offers here and we somehow haven't even gone through them all yet. So some more offers here guys. We have the Alumni Brett Hall, Blake Wheeler, Team Week Koivu. It's a pretty good one. 
Uh, next here, Conacher, Numenon, Bergeron, Collectible. Uh, Ranford, Graves, and Hemsky. Uh, Ranford's an 88, but he's a goalie, so the value's tough to judge. Uh, Goudreau and Crosby with number 88. Another Crosby's pretty sick. Lots of Goudreaux too. Another Crosby with uh, team Milestone the Tank, sorry, and a gold collectible. Back-to-back -back Crosby offers. Uh, Giroux there with Suter, Line, and Wrensky. Uh, Smith, Primetime, Kuznetsov, Deming. And then four silver cards, Grandstrom, Gordon. I don't think they say anything. Next up here, guys, four more gold cards. Uh, Kopitar, Bufflin, Ben, and Goudreau. Uh, Milestone, Thornton, Halloween, Marchand, Thanksgiving, Johansson, and Linden. Uh, Roberts there, Otto, Carlson, Smith, that's not too bad. Uh, Malkin, Dreisaitl, Hall, Goudreau, all good players. Uh, Wilson, Rocket Hockey, Carlson, I'm guessing this is for Wilson's hit. Although, did he hit Carlson? The last hit I know of was like the one on Sundstrom, but maybe I just... The fact that he's got so many hits I can't remember is pretty bad. Uh, Connor Kerr and Goudreau, and then Howard Shock, Mavalich, Graves, and another Dreisaitl. And that was actually the last of the offers, guys. I felt like that one took forever to go through, so... Um, these ones here I've been holding on for forever. I felt like they were probably the best ones. Um, I mean, you got some really good players there in Crosby or whatever. Uh, so that one there, I don't think is going to get it done. Um, this one, again, I think you need, like, the one really good player opposed to just, like, four okay players. This one's not too bad. Billy Smith, though, I have no idea on the value. Um, uh, Otto and Roberts are pretty rare cards. I only want to risk it, though, as I'm not probably going to use either of them. That's another one where it's, like, Bunch of good players, not too much value though. Uh, the Wilson one too, I remember it was Sunk Fist. I think I said Sunstrom. I had to like Google it to uh, remember. But obviously not quite as good as like the legit offers there. This one here is not too bad. I think I like the other ones I was holding on to though. So Carlson, Ovi, and Primetime Kessel. The big question I guess is the value of Carlson and Ovi. Kessel is probably not too crazy, especially with the Thanksgiving coming out. Uh, Crosby, Cornell is worth quite a bit. Last time I checked, Seg and the Red Wing jersey obviously. I like the rubbing jersey touch. Um, this one here is pretty good too. Thanksgiving Besser. Then you get the Barkov, which is really rare, and the Thanksgiving Rantanen. Peterson there, who's honestly, his Thanksgiving cards are very, very good. And then Hellebeck, or a Crosby, Latang, and a Gold Collectible. So this one, it's tough for sure. I know the base cards have definitely gone down in value, which makes me a bit worried as I haven't really seen Ovechkin's price in a while. So I mean, that would affect Crosby too. Cornor, though, I know is worth a decent amount. Sagan, Red Wings jersey. You got Besser there, Barkov, and Rantanen, then the Peterson, who should have similar value to the Besser, with Barkov and Rantanen on top. Um, then Crosby, though, the Tangle Collectibles. So, for me, it's probably either this one, Crosby, Cornor, Sagan, or this one. Oh, man, it's it's tough. Like I said, I don't want to check the market or anything. Base cards have gone down, which means special cards should hold their value more. So I think I am going to stick with this offer here, guys. Like I was saying, I think it just has the most value between Besser, Barkov, and Rantanen. Plus, I'm pretty sure that Barkov card is really rare. Uh, this offer here, though, with the Crosby, Cornoyer, and then this one with the Peterson. Uh, we're both very close. That Crosby offer, too. Uh, we actually got another offer out of looking at it, a silver collectible there. But this one held on for a while, and I think it is the best. Uh, in terms of value, and also I liked Ranton, so I wouldn't mind just getting him back. So uh, next here we have the Thanksgiving Patrick Kane. Let's see how many offers are on him. 76 in total. Uh, so that's pretty good. It was, if it was 88, that would have been even better. But we'll take a look here and see, obviously, the best card. Um, hopefully there's some cool offers on this one. So Ekman Larson there with three gold collectibles. Right off the bat, we have the Christmas Flurry. Same rating um, with a Kucherov. Uh, Giroux, a couple alumni there, and Tavares. Evil Barry, that's a t Evos are tough to judge how much they're worth. Park and a couple collectibles. Peterson there, Jones, Dubois, and a 69. Uh, Christmas Flurry with a Kane and 88. Legend, Iafrady, and a couple alumni there, and Nysham and Numenin. Uh, Taze, Debrinkat, Kopitar, and Larmer. A Christmas Flurry again. Uh, Giroux, a couple collectibles, Marchan. Alumni, Richard, at least I assume it's Richard and not Richard. Um, it's not Maurice, it's Henry, so I don't really know. And then next here we have a Wilson, Johansson, Nuge, and Rene. So some pretty good offers, but... The Thanksgiving Kane's worth quite a bit. Uh, let's see what else we got. So next to you guys, we have a Curry, Taze, Marchand, and Line. Um, the Halloween Bufflin and that auto alumni card. Uh, McDavid and a Carbon Collectible. That's not too bad. Uh, Smith, Conacher, Kane, and LaFontaine. Random 69 silver card. Nice. Thanksgiving Kessel and Besser here. Pretty good combo. And then Stratus, Hellstrom, Larson, and Houdon. Again, if it says something, I have no idea. When it's four like, absolutely random silver cards, I assume there's something going on, but... I haven't been able to like figure out any of them yet. And next to you guys we have an Evo Hellebeck, uh, Milestone Marlowe, and Teen Week Dalene. 
Evo Hellebeck, I mean, does he get a team of the year? Maybe. Uh, so definitely offer to consider. Um, another Crosby there, Voracek, LaFontaine, and Gold Collectible. Uh, Pashnak, Chara, Point, and Murray. Uh, Curry, Dumba, Lau, and Voracek. Christmas Ekblad, that's kind of cool, with a couple Busicks and Geoffrin. And then we have Kiss, Robert, Sweet, Wong. And then next year, guys, we have a Thanksgiving Peterson, Evo Houdon, uh, Timmy Cutton. And then right here, we have the Gatorade Crosby. That's a really rare card, although I'm not sure how much he's worth, because I think there's another 89 Crosby that came out uh, with the alumni Conacher. Um, Hoffenmeyer, Koch, 49, Canada. I don't know. Uh, Evo, Dylan Larkin, that's pretty sick. The thing is, like, even if he gets a Team of the Year, does he even get to 91? I mean, probably, to get to 91... He'd have to get upgraded four more times, so four months from now. It's tough. Like, the Kane's already 91, and he's got three synergies opposed to just one. Uh, Bobrovsky and Hellebeck's not going to do it. Solomon and Kane, no. Besser, Line A, Price isn't bad. All right, guys, so check in some more offers now. Uh, next one here, we have Danico, Perry, Sermon, Moro. Um, after that, ooh, I'm a big fan of that card. The German Dry Saddle. I was trying so hard to get him. Unfortunately, I finished, like... 400 or something. I didn't have a very good round one showing, I think. My round two, though, wasn't too bad. Um, also, next to him was a Team Week Kucherov, 87 overall. That's probably worth a good amount on its own. And then the Diamond Schmaltz. That's, that might be the best offer yet. Um, okay, this is pretty good, too. Uh, Shifley there with Billy Smith, Christmas Besser, and a collectible. Uh, McDavid, Bauer, Kane, Busick, Kessel, Jones, couple evil collectibles. The evil collectibles could be worth quite a bit if the sets come back. And then the evil Charlie McAvoy. Again, it's like, how high do you think he's going to grow? I already have an Evo Shabbat that's like an 83. I don't even know how much of my Evo Shabbat's worth. I'm just, I know he's going to get a team of the year unless he gets injured. So knock on wood, this doesn't happen. Um, Evos are definitely, they're tough to judge. And next year, guys, we have Brett Hall, Charlie Conacher, Ovechkin, and Gold Collectibles. So pretty solid again. Right here, we have an Evo Barry and Connor. Uh, that's pretty sick. Uh, Connor, I think for sure gets a Young Gun team of the year. Barry, again, I don't know if he gets a team of the year. This is definitely better than the last Evo Barry offer, though. Um, Legend Luke Robitaille there, Alumni Busick. I'm not really sure what is worth the Legend card. Seems like a pretty good offer though. Uh, Curry, Malkin, LaFontaine, Petrangelo. And then Thanksgiving Castle and a Carbon. That's like what, 300k right there? I think Castle's worth about 100. And then next year, guys, we have an offer of four bronze players. Clark Olette, Krita, Fairbrother. Again, if there's something happening, I don't know what it is. Uh, next year, we have Avalanche, Praha, Mariners, Rocket. Um, ooh. I just understand what it says. ASMR. It's a funny one. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Evil Lafreniere. I like that. Thing is, he's a 67. So, even if they put plus 20 on him for Team of the Year, he's an 87. I don't think he's really worth Kane. And then, Team League Stamkos, Primetime, Giordano. Not bad. We still got some more offers to go. Uh, right here, we have Crosby, Malkin, Ovechkin, and King. Uh, next up, his year. I'm pretty sure he's worth more than the Dry Saddle. But the Dry Saddle had other stuff with him. Yeah, that Kucherov, I think, makes the Dry Saddle one still better. Uh, Carbon there, uh, Mavlich and McKinnon, not bad. Conker, LaFontaine, Subban, Tarasenko, and then LaFontaine, Curry, and Solmane. So it's going to be tough to choose, and we're not even all the way through. So some more offers here, guys. We have two more Evos, Lafreniere and Barry. Um, both we've seen before, but now they're together with a Larionov and Gold Collectible. Um, Getzlav, Petrie, Smith, and a Bronze Collectible. Terry Sanko, Giroud, Bobrovsky, and a silver. And then Evo Couturier. Well, that could be good. Evo Houdon and a bronze collectible. Um, also, too, I don't know. when. I think while you're doing the trade, if a new one comes in, it goes to the first. And right here, you can see Kessel, Besser, and Kornoyer. So, I don't know. Lots of good offers here. And next year, guys, we have Morenz, which is a good player, but I don't think quite good enough on his own for Kane. Um, Evo Dalene with three Evo collectibles. He's probably going to get a Young Gun Team of the Year card as there's only so many good Young Defensemen. Plus the three Evo collectibles, you only need like, what, one more to get the four for like the lowest set, so that's not too bad. I have no idea what Dalene's worth though. It's probably close. Uh, Kachuk there, Tarasenko Tavares, another Evo Kachurye, that's pretty solid. Uh, Kucherov, Ghost, Line A, Larionov, and then another Evo Barry, uh, Rick Yibe, Seth Jones, and Gold Collectibles. So the good offers just keep pouring in. A few more offers here. We have the Thanksgiving Peterson and Conacher. Uh, Timmy Klatang, McDavid, LaFontaine, Curry, Stamkos, Malkin. I feel like we got to be getting close to having like all the offers looked at. Um, every time I like go to see how many offers there are, the game actually crashes. So I don't want to keep doing that. Uh, Boomhauer, Bazir. I mean, the Samurai uh, helmet there is pretty cool, but I don't know if it's quite worth Kane. Connor Kajiofer and Matthews is 
good, but we're gonna have to say no. Evo Connor, obviously the one with Barry though is a bit better than that. And then next we have two more pretty good offers. Uh, Kucherov, Eichel, Pavelski, and Domi. And then Milestone Carlson, 88 overall. Stammer, Kachuk, Ovechkin. That's, that's pretty sick. And the final offer here guys is Alumni Paul Coffey with a base Patrick Kane. I'm pretty sure Coffey alone's worth like 300k, maybe more. So that's a very good offer. Um, I tried to like keep all the best ones. So I'll show you guys the final 11. You got the Christmas Flurry and Kucherov. McDavid and a Carbon, uh, the Gatorade Crosby and Conacher, Evo Larkin, I think it's probably the lowest value, but obviously I'm, I'm a big Red Wings fan, Larkin's one of my favorite players, uh, the Dreisaitl there with Kucherov and Schmaltz, um, Evo Barry and Connor, uh, the Hishier I think is worth quite a bit with the Gold Collectible, Evo Dalin, which could obviously grow a ton with the three Evo Collectibles, uh, Holman Kachuk, Tarasenko Tavares, and then Evo Kachurier, the Carlson there with Stammer, Kachuk, and Ovechkin, and then finally, the coffee, I would definitely say, would be in that top 11. So, um, looking at them all here, like, the one I think I want to say yes to the most is just the dry salad, because I want to try that cutout the most. And the Kucherov, on top of that, I think definitely makes up for the difference between him and his shear. Now, Evo, Barry, and Connor, I'm not sure what Evo Barry's worth. If I had to guess, I would say it's, like, he's already in 83, so I'd say he's probably about 100k. Connor might be, like, 150 the way he's playing like he definitely could see himself as a young gun team of the year um Dalene's probably worth quite a bit 88 overall milestone carlson here is pretty sick and then the paul coffee i mean he might be the highest value of every single individual player or it's, it's him or the uh christmas flurry so i honestly do not know what to do so i thought about guys and it came out of four offers for me uh this one here for obvious reasons i really want to try out that dry setup card and then the kucherov and schmaltz on top of that is kind of insane also, Evo, Barry, and Connor here. I think Connor is destined for team of the year. So even if Barry's not worth too much, I think Connor getting a lot of good value out of. Um, this one here as well, Dalene, I know is worth a lot. I've seen him priced a lot. The collectibles though, I'm not too sure. And then of course, it's, it's kind of a gamble because you got to hope Dalene does grow or I guess I could just sell him. And then lastly, I think Coffee there is one of the most expensive cards on his own. So I think actually it might be tied with Flurry, but I just kind of want alumni coffee more than Flurry, as I think Flurry is easier to make via the set. And I'm not going to lie, the offer that I was happiest to see, I think you guys already know, is this one here. The German Dry Settle. I wanted that card so bad. With the Kucherov and Schmaltz on top, I got to say yes. Thank you though everyone who sent in offers, especially like those 10 there on the cane. All of them were very good. So we'll take a look now on our entire haul for this trade day. It took like an hour and a half to go through, which is kind of insane, but uh, well worth it. So... That Viking guy there, the McKinnon, Lariana, a couple silver collectibles. Um, okay, I guess I got that and forgot to put it away. The Kucherov we just got. Luongo, excited to try him out. He does have BU. I don't know why the synergies were giving us um, such an issue. We got some bronze collectibles. The Team Week line aid there could be very solid. Uh, the Griffins logo could even throw that on. Uh, Dubnik here doesn't have BU, but he's a big goaltender. A uh, bunch of different special cards there to try out. Pavelski, Kovalchuk, Nylander, I'm sure... Some Leafs fans want him back on their team. Besser there as well. We got Ranton in back, who I said I really liked. Um, Fiddler, the Red Wings jersey. A base Patrick Kane. I think we got, did we get two Diamond Schmaltz or just one? I think just one. The Canada jersey there. Might actually just throw that on. The Dry Saddle here. The synergies aren't the best, but I am so excited to try this card out. Honestly, he might just be uh, on the team forever now. Or at least until like the next, you know, good Dry Saddle card comes out. Uh, the Barkov here as well. I think it's a very rare card. I think we took home like a couple hex dolls. Uh, that logo, I think I already had in my inbox. Shifley there. Contract. Marchand as well. Another Zadina. And then finally Vitrano there. I don't even remember what offer Vitrano was in. That's how many uh, trade offers we looked at. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this trade day. I thought that was a lot of fun. Again, thank you to everyone who sent in offers. We'll definitely have to do this again. If you guys enjoyed this one, please leave a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that. On the road to 100k. I need your guys' help. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.